What did you make of that one today? Uh, obviously very disappointing uh, result and uh, performance I think. Obviously we had uh, spells in the first half that when we passed the ball a bit better than there was chances there for us. It was just obviously didn't want to go enough, no one near enough and didn't play well enough in over, overall in general. After last week you'd be hoping to come here and I'd probably put on a better performance. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, picking up the first one of the season in the league for us last, last week was massive. Uh, everyone knew how important the game was last week, and this, it was equally important to come here and build on that this week. And obviously, not being able to do that is disappointing. Didn't seem to be too much in it in the first half, but yet they find themselves 2 0 ahead. Yeah, and obviously, the goals are poor for our point of view. I think a couple of mistakes, a couple of runners, and obviously, two good finishes for the two boys. and you find yourself 2-0 down without really being too much in the game, like you say, and then second half we just never really managed to get a foot, a foot holding the game and get back in it at all. Once you are 2-0 down, it does become even more difficult, especially when you're playing a team away from home who are playing with confidence. Yeah, they're obviously a good team. you have had a few good results in the last few weeks, so when they get 2-0 up and you're trying to chase a game, it, they get their tails up and it's no easy, like you say, and I still think we need to play better and create more chances and what the goalie more. I don't think being 2 0 down we had a, enough of a goal to try and get back in the game. Yeah, Rogers didn't really have anything much to do today, did he? No, no, it was no for the lack of trying for the, the strikers, midfielders and stuff like that in terms of going forward. It was just one of them games that we never managed to get a proper foothold in the game and there's just never you see never worked Rogers enough. Uh, Rogers sorry enough and uh, obviously it was disappointing, especially off the back of picking up three points last week he we wanted to build on that and not been able to do that at this point. I said to Alan, onwards and upwards, you want to kind of try and really kickstart that season now? Yeah, obviously, uh, another home game on Friday night, try and build on picking up the, the win against Morton at home, show that our home form's going to be better than the, the last season and show it be a place that teams dread to come and we want to start that by Friday night at Dundee, go there and Morton beating them today just shows that they've no had a good start to the season and Neither of we to be fair, but it's, we know how, on our day how good we can be, and we have every belief that we can go and win that game Friday night. It will be a right tussle Friday night because both teams do really want that win to to get good. Yeah, definitely. I think it'll be a, a good game. Obviously, we'll be in the Friday night as well. Hopefully, the fans come out and sorry, come back us in the Friday night and drive us on to three points. It's one of your old clubs. Are you looking forward to that challenge? Yeah, obviously there'll be players there that I played with staff members there that I was I was there with as well so obviously I spent three years there it was uh, a long time in my career and stuff like that so it would be good to see some of the faces but as long as we've come away with three points and I'm the happy smell man at the end of the day. You are back at Queen's, how are you finding your time back? Yeah, it's great, I mean I'm obviously settled down and into the club that I, I'll say that time and time again, obviously got a lot of feelings for the club and but I want the club to be successful, so as much as I'm enjoying being back, I'm not enjoying the fact that the poor start we're having at the, se- the start of the season. And we definitely want to be higher up the table and get a few more wins. It made me a bit happier. And what are you looking to do to, to turn that round? What, what's, you know, what's the starting point to turn that round? Just getting a few a few wins under the belt. I think it's getting to the point when performances kind of go to the side a wee bit and try, like last week against Morton, the night we played as well as what we maybe played against Ayr or teams like that at the start of the season and or even Awa and uh, we won the end managed to come away with three points so I think it's just about getting a few wins under your belt getting some confidence and scoring a few goals and try to settle in there a wee bit for a few of the a few new boys out like, uh, back to and guys all over and stuff like that I can see they just need a couple of goals and get them firing and I'm sure they have a good season Is confidence a factor in this too, just now? Yeah, it's massive to everyone in football. You can see once you put a couple of wins and a couple of results together, no matter how you get that performance, you can build on it and it takes a bit of the pressure off you in terms of looking at the league table when you're down the bottom needing, needing wins rather than just going and enjoying your football and picking up wins as you as you go along by having good performances and enjoying it. I mean, everyone wants to enjoy playing football and enjoy the games. Fans come to the games and want to enjoy it, but they only enjoy it if you win. That's the bottom line. The bottom line is if wins breed confidence and if you're not getting wins then it's a, it's a hard place to be. I'm feeling in there that, that things will turn around and kick starts soon. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's no one in there sitting. Obviously we're disappointed with the performance and the result today but there's no one looking long term and saying oh, there's any sort of problems I and mean, they're all confident enough and they know the ability that's in the changing room. It's good enough to be up there challenging for the top four this season and 
which is probably you know, a good Inverness team like that. There was, you say, first half, there was nothing much in it. And to come away with a 2 0 no loss is it's disappointing, but it's, we know that we can play better than that. Gives you hope that we can be up there in the top four challenge and just need to put our run together and start picking up some wins.